my friends, it has been a really long minute. And I said that the last time and now it's several months later since I've made a video and I am rusty at doing this, but I wanted to pop on and just give a little update and thought I would do a currently inked. So first up, I have my Caveco All Sport, the special Hello Kitty edition, the gold trim, and I really love using this pen. It's like a sweet little Hello Kitty face etched on the nib, and it is a fine nib. And the ink in this pen is just the cartridge it came with, which I think is the pearl black, I think. But I actually really, really like this one. So I have uh, little sheets of Tomoe River plain white paper, just so I can see, I like to see the, um, I like to see how it looks on white versus cream, and since this notebook is a cream color, I like to have this in here so I can see what it looks like on white, because typically I like, I prefer writing on white. I hope everyone's summer is going well. Ours here has been really very busy so far. Perhaps unsurprisingly, I have a lot less time where I can make videos and other things when all of my kids are at home full time. But they've been having a good summer. They've been able to participate in various fun activity camps so far and just lots of time outside and things like that. So it's been a good summer. Next up is my Franklin Kristoff Model 3 in the antique glass. Oops, and this is with the medium sig nib, which I just really, really, really love using. This is Sailor Studio Ink. One, six, two. So I have been trying to get lots of different house projects done and we are just about done redoing our garage. It has been really, really gross. <laughs> distressing area of this house since we moved in over three and a half years ago and I don't think it had been worked on or touched since it was built over 45 years ago and so just the amount of buildup of dirt and grime and filth and just we had a bunch of stuff stored in it, so I've been working. We cleared everything out and had it sitting in our driveway, my poor neighbors, for just about a week. And my friends came over and helped me, because I don't have the tools, helped me rip out a whole bunch of very weirdly, strangely built shelves that had been erected sometime who knows when and help me rip all that out and then I went through and spackled and patched and just so much repair then I painted the walls the ceiling I got a special epoxy paint for the floor and I painted the floor of the garage and uh, I painted the ceiling. It's not a perfect paint job, but it looks it looks incredible out there now. It's clean and it's bright, and I don't hate being out there anymore. So 
my friends because they are wonderful people and I love them and I am so grateful that they're willing to help me with manpower and tools and know-how. They're going to come over today and help me mount some workbenches on the wall so that I can set up a home art studio out there for myself, but also uh, my oldest son really wants an art studio space and we've been wanting to do it for a while so that we have an area to really play and create and now we'll be able to do that in the garage. And the garage is such that the way the house is built on this property, we were on the downward slope of a hill. And when it was originally built, they built it too close to the property line of the neighbors. So they had to get an easement to be able, be able to even make the driveway. Well, the angle of the house and the way the garage is connected to it we might be able to eventually get one car in, maybe, but that's still a ways off because the side we would have to maneuver into, that garage door is broken. We can't get it to go up and down. And uh, with other house projects and things we've had to do this year, fixing the garage doors is and getting new ones is not really in the budget this year and maybe not next year because there are still other projects that are more pressing so so who knows so in any event we will have at least one side of the garage that's just free for projects and art and um, we do have storage in there as well for like holiday things and other items that we don't use on a super regular basis so so it's going well and I will and I will make sure to give a studio tour <laughs> once that it's all set up because I'm really, really excited about it. My next pin is this adorable green little, little Jin Hao shark from my wonderful, very sweet pin friend, Casey. She surprised me with this. I'd never tried a Jin Hao shark before and she sent it to me and said that she sent it for one of my kids if they wanted to use it, but I am using it at the moment because it's so much fun and it's so cute and it writes really, really nicely. And this ink is, oh shoot, what ink did I put in here? Diamine Salamander, a sample also from Casey. So another reason I have not been on YouTube and making my videos like I have been really enjoying doing is because my, um, maybe it is carpal tunnel at this point, my, the, my hand pain and wrist pain, particularly in this area in both hands, but more so my right hand because I'm right-handed has really, really been flaring up and it's been really painful. And so I can pick up and write maybe a sentence, but then I start to get tingly and it hurts and I need to do some hand exercises and all of that, I know. And I've left a message with my doctor's office to get in to see what I need to maybe do about that and of course all of my house projects and garage product garage projects with um, the painting and everything I mean everything I do in my day-to-day -day life everything not just writing and journaling and fountain pens and art like everything I do requires my hands everything so I've been taking a lot of ibuprofen, trying to help with the inflammation, and it's just, it's, it's been painful. Last night I slept in my full-on wrist brace. I should probably get another one for this hand, but just trying to manage it for now so that hopefully I can avoid surgery and all of those things. 
because I don't have time for surgery. So next pin is my Twisby Eco White and Rose Gold. This one is my Broad Nib. It's just such a smooth and enjoyable writer. So white, rose gold, broad. And the ink is Birmingham. company galactic twinkle I have done a few fill-ups in a row with this ink in this pen because I just enjoy it so much also been working on my garden and gardening plans trying to do all of that planted a lot of wildflowers and I finally got a deer fence up so they're finally actually growing and <laughs> blooming because we have quite the herd of neighborhood suburban deer and while adorable and I love seeing the little spotted babies uh, they eat everything they even ate the leaves off of my rhubarb, and rhubarb is supposed to be fairly deer resistant. Well, it's not, not here. So finally getting some flowers and my tomato plants are growing pretty well. So fingers crossed that continues. Next up is a fairly new to me pin, my Lamy 2000. And I got it in, got it in a fine. And I got it on one of the really good sales that Endless Pins will do. And I was unsure if I was going to be okay with the metal section, but the brushing on the section seems to make it, makes it easier for me to hold it. Like it's not as like slippery as some other metal sections. And I really, really love this pin. I I mean, I've heard nothing but good things over the years from like Waski Squirrel and oh gosh, who else? I, all names have fled my mind. Um, I think Manda loves hers. Uh, anyway, it seems to be a universally beloved pin and I really, really love it. So this is a fine nib and the ink is Birmingham Pin Co. Cure Refinery Petroleum. And I, this is a, one of those teals that I love. My, my search for the perfect teal continues. This is a pretty close one for me, and like I love the color verse pale blue dot, and to me, this looks like a really close dupe for that. They look very, very similar, so I'm glad that I have petroleum so that when I finish my bottle of pale blue dot, I will have something comparable. Yeah, so I have really been loving to use this pen. Granted, I haven't been doing much writing or much pen use recently because of my hand and wrist issues, which is so frustrating, but yeah, this has been a lovely writer for the little bit I've gotten to use it. And last up that I have inked is my Retro 51 Tornado in the Apollo special edition. And the ink is Colorverse Saturn 5. 
there is the current collection of in use heavy on the blues I'm enjoying using all of them <laughs> my plan is not to wait so long until my next video of course it does kind of depend on just how the days are going with my kids while they're on summer vacation school already does start next month we can say that now it starts in August here which is just bonkers to think about because it feels like we just got out of school and I'm already starting to feel the panic of summer is almost over which may seem silly to some people but in Montana as I've learned summer is short and fleeting and we we had snow in was it May or early June this year like we we can get frosts through kind of the end of end of June so summer is maybe a good three months and then it's gonna start getting frosty and chillier again in September so I mean we've I had snow in September here since I've been here so the the panic of oh no we must fit in as many things as possible and really enjoy the heat and the warmth which is funny because it's been very hot and I have never been a heat person, but it is much less humid here than where I grew up in the Seattle area. So it's a lot easier to deal with the heat when it's not so humid. However, now we have all the wildfires going on around us. So it's super, been super, super smoky. It's looked, the sky has looked very post-apocalyptic these last couple of days. So getting a little bit clearer today, hopefully it'll, clear up so we can see some blue sky again and you know be outside more and not have to worry about the air we're breathing but you know wildfire season seems to last longer and longer every year and really starting to become the new norm which is really unfortunate so anyway I hope to see you all soon. I hope you enjoyed this. So thank you so much for watching, friends, and I hope I will see you next time. Okay, bye!